If you see the table wobbling during the video, don't panic. It's literally a tabletop balanced on a stool because that's the only solution I have at the moment. And it's a bit beaten up, but we'll forget about the table. On with the video. One benefit though is it does swivel out of the way quite easily. Have you ever heard of a company called Acefast? No? Well, I hadn't either until they reached out and asked if I wanted to have a play with a couple of their products. As with everything, I thought, why not? Send them over, let's have a look. This is not a sponsored video in any way, shape or form, but Acefast were kind enough to send me these for free. So thank you Acefast for supporting small creators such as myself. Your satisfaction is all the thanks I need. Random. Now, I often get recommended affordable earbuds when browsing Amazon and have always been curious if they could really be any good considering how cheap they are. But uh, I need wonder no more cause here we have the Ace Sound T1 True Wireless Earbuds. And this model has noise cancellation technology which they are calling ENC and a super long work time uh, according to what's written on the box. And speaking of the box, it looks neat and the communication I've had with the company so far has been very pleasant and professional. So all that's left to do is to get in the box and see what we get before we have a little fiddle. And then I'll take a look at the earbuds. Before we go on to the earbuds, however, I also have this, the uh, Acefast D4, which is a magnetic phone holder for your car. Let's open up this first and build a little tension around the earbud, shall we? So let's have a look what we get in the box. The bag, uh, a magnetic sticky thing, stand with a suction mount, and more sticky pads and some gumph. I'm gonna go install it, see what it looks like. to the Piesta Resistance, the true wireless headphones. So in the box we have a quick start guide, some protective material, the case, a cable and some buds. So first of all the case which is also the uh, charging case and it comes with a 400 milliamp hour battery which should allow you to recharge the earbuds around four or five times. The literature states you should expect between four to five hours playback on a full charge. And then in the case, we have the two black small earbuds, which look quite sexy, if you can see them here. Now these are uh, Bluetooth version five and will take around an hour and a half to charge the 40 milliamp hour battery in each bud to its full capacity. Now, as you saw, there are some additional tips in the box should the uh, default ones not fit in your ear canals. But these, oops, sorry shouting, but these ones seem to fit my ear canals very well. A very thick and informative quick start guide which we're not gonna use. And the cable is a USB-A to USB type C cable for charging the case directly like so. So when you uh, place the buds into the case, you get the uh, charging indicator light, which tells you how much battery you got on the front. And then each earbud will light up red if it tells you it needs a charge or rather it starts charging. So they're uh, the Bluetooth, as I said, so let's see how easy they are to get connected. So I'm assuming I'm gonna need to put this into pairing mode so that it can be found. A few moments later. Okay, so to begin with, you take the buds out of the case whilst leaving the case open, and then it should pop up on my phone and tell me it's found the device. So there's no button to press, literally take the buds out of the case, they pop up on your Bluetooth, you connect them, and then you put your buds back into the case, which seems a little pedantic, but it works, 
it was quick and extremely easy. So the dimensions are 60 by 49 by 26 millimeters with a loaded case weight, i.e. the earbuds inside, of 34 grams. So the uh, whole package is very light and stealthy. Now compared with the uh, Apple AirPod Pro, which are my daily driver, the case itself is quite a bit thicker, although these are definitely lighter. Each earpiece has a control element on the back of the bud to allow you to control them with gestures. You can pause the current track with one touch on either earbud or skip to the next with a double tap. Triple tapping will give you the uh, Google Voice Assistant and a long press will accept a telephone call. They have an IPX6 waterproof rating, which means they are protected from high pressure water streams, apparently from any angle, but what does that mean? I don't know, I really don't know. I think it would be safe to assume that these aren't fully waterproof, so don't attempt to take them in the shower or go swimming. So, next step, let's... Uh, play some music, shall we? I just plugged one in and it's told me they've powered on. And I've got a, a beep which tells me that they're both on and connected. So what did I think? If I'm being honest, I didn't have high expectations at all, but in fairness, remembering I am no audiophile, for a very affordable set of wireless earbuds, in my opinion, they're pretty damn good. And I'm not just saying that because I was sent them for free, I actually mean it. The case does look a little chunky, and uh, to me, that gives them a, how can I put it, a, a cheaper look and feel, to be honest, although they are still very light. The bass from them is good, and the loudest volume is, is more than adequate. And although not as loud as the AirPod Pros, you're paying a hell of a lot less for these than you are for Apple's alternative. They're currently listed on Amazon, at time of filming this video, for just over 31 great British pound, which is an absolute bargain, especially with a built-in ENC tech. Now the only issue I had with these was the gestures. In order to get them to work correctly, I had to go into the device settings within Bluetooth and change the device type to other. Only then was I able to double tap to skip back in between tracks. And maybe this is just an eye thing, I don't know. I haven't got an Android to test it with. The battery got me through an entire day with intimately listening to music and talking. And although the spec says there's a 20 meter range with Bluetooth version five, I did get to test this out. But for what you're getting for a little over 30 quid, you really can't complain. And if you do complain, give your head a wobble and spend a little bit more money if you want a little more functionality. So there you have it, the Ace Sound T1 wireless earbuds from Acefast. If you want to pick up your own pair, you can do so using the link in the description down below. And whilst you're down there, that's what she said. Maybe leave a comment and don't forget to like the video, even if you didn't. Subscribe if you aren't already and hit the bell to get notified of when I eventually upload a new video because if you didn't see my previous video, this is the reason why I haven't been uploading so often. <laughs> I'm a funny though. <laughs> but am I funny? I'm not. Really? As always, I appreciate you watching and until next time, goodbye. Internet. Put this chain on me, like they all hate on me. Don't bring that rage on me. Why they throwing shade on me, like they ashamed on me. I thought, what age are we?